Hello everyone, this is Paradox from back to another video, and today I will be teaching you how to do the shadow, and this is what it looks like. Now for slow-mo. Alright, so the shadow is a level 3 trick, so it's in the confirmed category. Um, only prerequisite I would suggest is the middle rounds and if you don't know how to do that um, if you know how to do the bus that should be fine so without further ado let's get into it all right so for this tutorial i'll be showing the shadow from one two to two three um, there's so many different variations but i think this might be the easiest to learn so what you're going to do is start and palm down and you're going to have most of the weight of the pen out from your hand and you're going to be gripping it in this kind of T12 position like this. Uh, the middle is like right past your fingers I think is a good spot. So if I turn my hand over this is what it should look like. So it's in 1-2 like this and then thumb is gripping it. Later on you might not. It might feel more natural for it to be like this but for learning it it's good to have your thumb for stability. But anyways, so the first thing you're going to do is swing out to the right. And this is basically a wind up for the trick to get more momentum or speed. So for right now, we are going to wind this way. And then we're going to swing it out. So now the pen gets to around here. So this is 0.5 rotations. The whole trick is 1.5. So this is the first third. So just practice getting from here, swing out to there. And most of the weight should be here now. So next comes the part where it spins on top of your fingers, which is probably the trickiest part. So what you want to try to do is if you have the middle marks, it's great. But if not, you can estimate. So what you want to do is when you're bringing the pen to this point, what you want to think about is you're bringing the middle of the pen to this knuckle joint right here. So focus on bringing that part of the pen, the middle, to here. And then for right now, you're just going to have the pen just spin. You don't have to catch it. Just get used to the feeling. Try to get consistent um, at having the pen spin at that part. And it's okay if it goes a little... Uh, below or a little above, but try to get it around this region. So do that a few times until you're comfortable. And then the last part is the catch. So once you're consistent at that, we swing it out. And then the pen is going to do 0.5 rotations, just fingerless. So from here, 0.5. And then right before um, it reaches one full rotation, so it's here. Right before that, you're going to open this 2-3 finger slot, and it's going to drop right in, and then finish off with another 0.5. So it's 0.5 here, 0.5 fingerless, and then 0.5 here. But for the catch, um, a few things I would recommend. So we know we have to get into the slot, but there's a few things to consider. So I think the best way to catch it is to move your ring finger mostly because the pen is already spinning on your middle. So you don't want to tamper with its, you know, rotation or whatever. So just to keep it stable, you want to really focus on your ring finger being the one to move. So you're going to move it out. So hopefully that's the first part. And the second part is also when you're catching it, you're not just moving your ring out, you're also moving it down a little, uh, little bit. So if I have my hand sideways when I'm catching it, it's not flat like this. Instead, it should look more like this. You wanna have this gap here um, in height because if you're thinking about the pen traveling, you want the pen to be able to just sneak right in between. So you're creating this little 
opening not just width wise but also height wise so it can just sneak uh, in between the heights of those two fingers so you're kind of moving your ring finger diagonal in a way and I guess the last thing is uh, wrist motion so obviously we start with our wind up so that's the first part so you're moving your wrist out a little just a little you don't always have to wind up but for learning and then you jolt your hand to the left to get it to move and then for this part it's going to mostly be smooth but the noticeable uh, wrist motion when is when you're about to catch it so when it's around here you're opening your uh, two three slot uh, what I find helps is moving your hand this way a bit so you're kind of uh, you know chomping down on the pen more easily so instead of just relying on the pen to do the work and you know getting there smoothly you can kind of accelerate that motion and make sure that it gets where it needs to so like kind of like that motion um, so if you're struggling to catch it you can try exaggerating that motion but eventually it gets pretty barely, uh, barely noticeable um, so the last thing is once you've hopefully learned the uh, shadow one two to two three then what you can do is try in different slots so there's the shadow still which is just one two to one two where it goes like that and then there's also one two to uh, three four which is a cool one um, so and you can also start in two three you can do shadow still two three two three one two two three to three four you can start in three four even so there's a lot of possibilities but the thing is the the core concept still remains the same no matter where you do it you're still winding up 0.5 here and then it spins on some part of your hand it depends uh where you're trying to go and then you open up a slot and then another 0.5 when you catch it so that is pretty much it for the shadow if you have any questions or uh, future video suggestions anything leave them in the comments and yeah thanks for watching